Um, uh, Mohammed, uh, you were saying that a lot of times, we, you know, we make the claim here that uh, Islam should not get credit for the good things that Muslims do. Mm. It should be, uh, it, it, it should not, uh, collectively, that's what we say. Um, but uh, is there, you're, you're saying that Islam should get credit for it. The example that I gave before, you know, of someone removing a thorn from the path of the, the walkers. Now, I'm doing this. I know I'm sane. And I have a belief system, and I just did that action. Now, the doer of the good, who is sane and in his right mind, is saying that the tradition of my prophet motivated me to do it. Then why should not that religion get credit? Whenever uh, the doer of a beheading of a disbeliever all right, says that I did this, I say, Allahu Akbar, I'm doing this. Because it says this in Surah Tawbah. When he says that, should Islam get credit for that action too? The, uh, the scholar will say that, you know, uh, this hadith is, you know, you should take it in this way. This is direct. There is, uh, you know, there are no, uh, there, there is nothing implied in it. There are no, uh, there is no side tracking. You know, it's very direct. And you know you, you will do it. You know you gave you gave me the example of beheading. The actions are drastically different. One has you know one involves the politics, hidden agendas, and you know a, a power play and all that. The other one is just you just you know doing something. And you know I, secular jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.